All right, hi, I'm Anna. I'm a sophomore at Elkhorn High School. Elkhorn High School! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this poem is called Tiger Lily, and it's for my mom. The house I share with you is beautiful. The tiger lilies out front never wilt, daddy never yells, and you put band-aids on my scraped knee when I lose the bike race to the pavement. But moving from the house that was my home to just a house changed everything. Age seven, the tiger lily is planted, and I grow up 472 miles away from that home. At 10, mom works to keep our stomachs from making noises, and the tiger lily makes its first appearance above ground. Two more years reveal mom's true age, stress. But by 13, even though I know it's just a part of growing up, I hate her. The tiger lily blossoms into something deformed, mutated, unnatural, wrong. A mother and a daughter's relationship is supposed to be sacred, but ours is not. My mother, so scared of losing me, pushes me so hard to stay that I'm choking on my own snot and tears, and I can't see where I'm going, and it's not just because it's dark. Long nights are spent alone, staring at the ceiling, laying in a pool of my own blood. Today, 15, that does not satisfy anymore. The tiger lily has long since wilted, and all it does is special order pain for my mom. An excruciating crack across her face when she sees my battle scars, my tiger stripes, my shame lines, my crisscross, my verticals. It delivers a stinging pain that rings in all our ears. I see now that I caused it. I see it, Mom, and I'm sorry. In front of me, my mother is sobbing, begging me to stop. She does everything in her power. Thank you, Mom. I hated you when you couldn't trust me for longer than 10 minutes in the shower, and when my door always had to be open, no opportunity for escape. I see your love. I blame myself for the agony that settled in our lives for so long. Your hands around mine, your fingers no longer gripping. We open the soft earth, plant together, a new lily to blossom.